Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. My name is Dennis. Right now, uh, we are checking some emails from our agents in the next port because I will be arriving in a few hours. So, through this email, I will receive instructions concerning our birthing prospects and uh, schedule of deliveries, uh, schedule of operation in port. So basically, lahat ng communication namin dito sa email dumadaan. So I just use satellite for calling kung may mga emergencies or there are uh, important things na kailangan ng immediate uh, clarification or action. But in a daily basis, ito yung uh, form of communication namin. So this is uh, directed dito sa office ko. And I have also another station sa bridge. So the officers can view from there kung may mga concerns sa kanila. Then uh, it goes directly to them and they can answer. Uh, regarding navigation, which goes to second officer. Cargo operation for chief officer. Like life-saving matters, life-saving equipment, safety. That goes to third mate. And engine matters, mainly, is for chief engineer. So, ganyan dito sa barko. Everything is, every, everyone has his own job and responsibilities. So, nakadelegate sa kanila yun. Uh, on my part as the captain, ako yung nag uh, overall in charge. At uh, I make sure na every, every, everyone is doing his job. So, in order to, for the vessel to um, perform efficiently to satisfy our charterer. Charterer meaning yan yung nagli-list ng barko. Yan yung nagre-rent ng barko on a daily basis, hindi monthly. Dito kasi is time chartered kaya every day nagbabayad yung uh, charter sa may-ari ng barko namin. So that's how it works in the shipping business. Uh, later I will explain further sa bridge concerning our route and uh, ano pa bang duties ko bilang master uh, aside from delegating and aside from running the ship so responsibility duties and responsibilities na kailangan matutunan bago maging kapitan so come join me hi guys i'm back and before we continue with our discussion a while ago concerning the duties of the captain, uh, first I want to show you outside because uh, the weather is so nice and uh, I want everyone to see uh, how beautiful it is to be at sea at this time or at this weather, in these weather conditions. So come, join me. So nice, fine, just a few clouds, but totally bright sunny day. Makasarap mag-sailing pag ganito. Konti lang yung cargo namin because we will be loading next port. continue our discussion concerning the duties and responsibilities of a captain. Number one is the captain is in command of the ship, both for deck and engine. Uh, number two, captain is also responsible to the owners because uh, anywhere in the world, uh, the vessel is represented by the captain. So anywhere in the world, I am the owner's representative. I am responsible to the charterer. I also represent the charterer at the same time while they are leasing the vessel 
Number three is uh, I am responsible for the safety of the ship, safety of the cargo, and safety of my crew. So those three important things. And another important matter is the safety to the environment or the so-called environmental protection. Let's say, for example, there are spillage, oil spill, grounding, accidents like this, which could harm the, the sea or the reefs or the environment itself, like pollution, then the captain has a big responsibility to that. The next is the crew welfare. So it is also the responsibility of the captain to ensure that the crew are in good shape, the crew can function properly to the, throughout the duration of their contract, and ensure that their uh, welfare is well taken care of while uh, aboard the ship. That includes the food, the accommodation space, uh, anything they need is uh, provided according to the agreement on the contracts so, like uh, food accommodation and safety and working gears. The next thing that uh, is also under my responsibility is the commercial pressure. So that means complying with the charterer's demands uh, to arrive on time arrive on schedule to, to the port and to ensure that there are no damages to their cargo that has been loaded to our ship. So if unfortunate things happen like uh, the vessel encounters a heavy, heavy weather or is, uh, have encountered a storm that could uh, suffer damages to the cargo, then that is uh, the responsibility of the captain. The decision to put the vessel to safety, to delay the vessel's arrival, to, to slow down and to deviate from the course is the master's decision. That is to ensure the safety of the ship and the ship to arrive safe in port. The next is uh, to ensure that the cargoes inside the containers like frozen cargo, dry cargoes, the monitoring of uh, temperatures according to the manifest are strictly followed. Of course, I have my crew to do that on a daily basis, but anything that will happen or could happen to these cargoes, then it is the captain who is responsible to that. The captain must be familiar with the company policy and uh, he must be familiar with the international collision regulations, maritime law, with the uh, port state regulations and uh, navigating international waters. That includes North Sea, Mediterranean, North, North and South American ports, anywhere in the world, basically. Our license is uh, <coughs> valid throughout the, the whole world. Caribbean, Asia, Europe, US, Australia, South America, South Africa, anywhere in these continents we are, we should be familiar with the, with the, with the, with the buoyant systems, with the lows. To, to every country that the vessel will call. Uh, the captain is also in charge of the ship's documents and ship certificates. And with that, port authorities are inspecting these licenses to ensure that the vessel complies with the IMO regulations, to ensure that the vessel is registered, and uh, to ensure that all the rules concerning uh, carriage of cargo at sea is complied by the shipping company before a vessel will be allowed to sail. Last but not the least, the captain must be ready to handle responsibilities such as emergency on board. So this involves fire, 
collision, grounding, oil spill, medical emergency. So before we board the vessel, we have trainings, we have certificates to ensure that we are well trained to respond to any emergency because at sea there is nobody who could help us except our expertise only. That is why all the crew here are trained according to international regulations. So I think I've uh, discussed mainly all of the, if not all, I discussed most of the most of the duties and responsibilities of the captain. And the number one important duties of the captain, which is written in the safety management system of the ship, the master has the overriding authority, meaning the captain has the final decision when it comes to the safety of the vessel. No owner, no charterer, and no office personnel can override the decision of the captain as to where and as to how he will navigate the ship towards his next port of call. So that is a very important uh, part of the job that each seafarer should understand before becoming a captain. So I believe that's all. Thanks very much for joining me. See you next vlog. Bye.